we have another another thing we got to talk to Dee Dee about. Cricket. She just sent in a demo because she wants to be part of this high voltage channel. Yes, she does. And she I don't think she's high voltage uh, mm. material though. She's she'll good be... for the show, but yeah. to carry her own program. Yeah, she'll be part of our show no matter what. Um, I don't know. There's something very interesting on her on her demo tape though. Mm-hmm. You know, she we already learned that she likes to black out. She yeah. also got married to some uh, counterfeit dude from England. There's another great Dee Dee story that uh, has been unearthed. Pops up on that? Yes. Right. So hopefully we'll get her on the phone today. You want to talk to Dee Dee yet? Is she on the phone? Yeah, Dee Dee's on the phone. What does she look like? She's our latest creation. Dee Dee. She uh, looks like she sounds. She's hot. Dee Dee. She looks like she sounds. Dee Dee. Hi. How are you, Dee Dee? I'm fine. How are you? Hi, Bill. We are. We are. What's going on, Dee Dee? Not much. Just. Doing my traffic. Yeah, we miss you. I miss you guys too. You guys rock. How's traffic in Chicago today? It's you know for the most part it's okay. I think it's because it's Good Friday. Good Friday. A lot of people uh, don't go to work and uh, it cuts down on that commute. Very yeah. good. Thank you, Didi. Didi, I got to ask you about the UPS guy. What's that about? UPS guy. Oh, the UPS <laughs> guy. What? The <laughs> <laughs> well, UPS guy. Do you I always say UPS. You, you ever see that channel called Bet? <laughs> <laughs> I like. I like. One. <laughs> <laughs> I always called it the UPS guy, though. What's up with the UPS guy? I don't know. You got a little UPS scandal? Not what? early. Um. <laughs> Wait, Eric is. Uh, Eric sent us down uh, down this road. What's going on with the UPS guy? Um. How would Eric know about it? I don't even know Eric. Um. The UPS you. guy. Okay. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> this girl. Where do I start? This girl has so many stories. <laughs> Well, when I recently moved into the place that I'm moving out of now, um, you know, I wasn't in a relationship at the time. Yeah. And um, my UPS guy was kind of cute. So for about a month, I was flirting and invited him in one morning for coffee, thinking coffee, tea, or me. And, you know, 10 minutes later, we were going at it and kind of had a little fling with my UPS dude. Wow. Oh my. Did he have the brown the- shorts on and the brown legs? <laughs> yeah, he had his shorts on. So you had a short oh, wow. how, did, how did you make the move? You invite him in for tea. I was at, for, well, for like a month I was flirting with him. Like how? Whenever he would bring a package, just talk, you know, for a little bit. You know, Say, just wow. regular conversation. This is a big package. I love big <laughs> packages, things like that. <laughs> did you have like a titty hanging out of your nightgown? When no. you down the- <laughs> I was just making small talk, and then one day I'm like, um. Yeah, but it- did, you know, Bob's on to something. Did you dress sexy when he was coming to the door? No, I was just always just casual. Were you in a robe? No. With no I didn't panties? Want to make it obvious. Did you sign that big electronic pad thing he has with your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> Grab the pen out of his hand with your mouth and just suck the pen? I want to. No. Did you, Did sign? you sign it? I want to fuck you? <laughs> That's no, kind of a hint. But I think he, he got the clue, though, after a while. Yeah? Of course. I mean, why did he come in? God, this girl yeah. is the best. So you invite him in for tea and then uh, what, what uh, for coffee? And, well, and yeah, coffee. Yeah. So you're actually, did you have the coffee? Yeah, I actually had the coffee. And then how did you go from having coffee and flirting for a while to actually doing it? Who made the, the actual move that, that We're sealed the deal? We're just kind of sitting there on the couch and it just kind of, you know how it just happens when it's going to happen? So you sit, no, someone no, had to yeah, make the move. No, it, it never just I happens. Go into and I don't think UPS guy made the first move because he probably has a, a rule against that and, God forbid something happened. Yeah. Uh, so what? You you had to do something. What did you do? Oh my God! And was it, he was, I want to know who told you about this. Um, you put your hand on his leg. Well, we were just sitting there talking. I just on the couch, a chair, a on table. The couch, on, on my, the couch. On my on my living room couch. On the on the living room couch. So you're sitting pretty close together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his little brown shorts on. <laughs> yeah. What would you have on? Uh, did you do that? Jesus. <laughs> Christ, Jesus. I just lost my boner with... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. What so, so What were you wearing? I was just wearing um, jeans and a t-shirt. No, jeans and a t-shirt. No bra, right? No, bra. no I had a bra on. Oh, you yeah. had a bra on. What size are you? I'm not going to say. Anyway, um... Did it start with a touch or a kiss? A touch. So you he knew. He knew. I, I'm pretty sure he's a smart guy, and he figured it out was when it he a, had, was coming in the door. Was it a touch? Did he like a touch to your neck? Did he strangle you? Or no, I touched him on the leg. All right, Ooh, so you, you did. Go. You reached over and kind of rubbed yeah. his leg. Yeah. Oh my god! Did you see his mule harden and kind of come out the end of the shorts? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Did he like he he grabbed it and fixed it so it, it kind of was down the side? 
And it was so it could the tip could just the top of the helmet could just slip out. <laughs> had a nice display going. Isn't that great when you're sitting? You ever been sitting waiting for your fucking package from UPS? <laughs> yeah, the, the the I don't why. Idling in front of her house. <laughs> He's banging Didi. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so you touched his leg. Then what? Oh my god! It just kind of went from there, and I'm sure you guys can figure it. I can't go into detail. Was he white? Was he black? Puerto yeah, Rican? He was Caucasian. Cauc- yeah, white. He's a white guy. Uh, did you go upstairs, or was it uh, on the it couch? It was right there on the couch, so right my roommates there. could have walked in it any minute. Too. Wow, that is wow. filthy. So, from the moment you touched his leg until intercourse, how 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 much time went by? I'd say he was probably there for about 40 minutes. You're lying. No. Wow. Lunch hour. He can't, I, he can't, it's a UPS guy, he's got a hundred packages to deliver, <laughs> you're telling me he stayed 40, I mean, look, wow, pussy's great, but I'm not going to get fired. Hey, did he ever come over when you weren't there and leave, try to fuck you at 1.15 today, <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh, okay. attempt another fucking tomorrow. A yellow slip on your <laughs> little yellow slip back to it, picture of his cock on it. <laughs> oh, what time you, you can pick it up later in the day? <laughs> leave with <laughs> roommate. <laughs> Yeah, I left it with the, your roommate. <laughs> yeah, check her belly. <laughs> wow. Well, wow, you are a slut. I went on the internet and I started ordering and buying a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> every day another delivery, right? <laughs> That's what Sean in Staten Island is saying on the uh, phones. How much shit was de-ordering every day? I, a few packages. <laughs> a oh. what, what were you ordering? Just things like, you know, well, it was October, so I was thinking holidays, right? Yeah. So Christmas, hello, you got to order a lot of presents. Sure you do. So hey, do- Rev wants to know if he poked you in the brown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> That's what she's but, really enjoying herself. get your sinuses fixed. <laughs> hey, Didi, you yeah. sound really hot. Oh. I just want to tell you that. This is Bob, by oh. the way. Sorry, um, I was distracted by stupid Ellen DeGeneres dancing again. Uh-huh. Oh. Didi, did you did you is that the only time you had sex with him? No, a few times for a while. How many how many times did you have sex with him? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't um uh, for a few months. Yeah. On and off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm getting reports oh. that you uh, gave the postman a hand job. Is that true? <laughs> no? How many free pizzas did you get from Domino's, you whore? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm kidding. So so it was uh, a couple of times. How did it end? Um, it kind of just you want the FedEx? Just, you know, it's offended. <laughs> did, did he spank you or did you whip him? Uh, any oh, of that? God. Yeah. Any of that kinky stuff? Maybe. Oh, she likes to be spanked and she likes to do the spanking. Not all the time, just with certain people. And her safe word is green. Green. Did, it, did he have to scan your, your pussy before you guys actually had sex? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Didi, I got to ask you oh something. Now, now, did and be honest, did he wash up before he left? What do you mean? Like, did he, like, well, did he washed his hands and stuff before he went into his car. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just wondering, because, you know, you got to grab that pen from him and, and sign. <laughs> I'm just wondering if, like, a pube is on there. You're wondering where the hell that came Did he have protection? I mean, was he, you know, ready for, question. was he loaded for bear from the go? I mean, was he, you know, ready, or did you have protection? I mean, Condoms was this safe, or, or just was he bear for the gold? I'm a responsible person. You're, Always wrap that willy before so, you get So you were ready? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know he's got package wrap in his truck anyways. He just ran out there and wrapped his dick in plastic. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know the classy girls that have a box of condoms next to their couch? He's stuck wrapped a, in brown paper <laughs> and yeah, twine. He did, yeah. He got a UPS sticker and just stuck it on the end of his hog. <laughs> he's leaking clear stuff for the rest of the route. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, what kind of wet spot on those brown shorts? Walk up to the next door. This big, nasty, wet spot, dark brown on his pants. The dog oh, sniffing his leg. Right. <laughs> get down. Get down. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's great, great Dee Dee. And it was, you know, I wasn't in the relationship, you know. We yeah, got the hell, right? You get your need, needs met, right? Well, I guess so. You <laughs> certainly did. Any other uh, delivery people or No, or no, anything? he was my first. That was your first and your last? I don't know. Oh, hey, Jesus. huh? Who I else? Guess did I run into another sex you and you never know. Oh, okay. UPS guys uh, apparently have sex all the time. You want to go to that That's guy? What they're saying. Let's go to this Maybe guy. Maybe this is the guy. Hold oh, on one God. second, Dee Dee. What? We got a former UPS guy on the line. Oh, shit. Tom, what's up? Yo. Hey, Tom. This girl is speaking the truth, all right? I worked for UPS on Staten Island for a little over a year, and let me tell you something. The best part about that freaking job, because it sucked, was banging the checks on my route. <laughs> it, I covered two routes. I was banging on New Glove Lane, Travis Avenue. 
side of the West Shore Expressway. That's the best part about that fucking job. It's and it true. was just steady, uh, steady bangings? What's that? And it was just and steady? Said, yeah, I had this one chick on the side, you know, like three or four times in like uh, six months. But, you know, I mean, there was about, I'd say, I mean, eight, or eight different chicks, man. I mean, and, you know, all different ages, from fucking young 20s to like, you know, late 30s. The housewives, they, all they do is order this Land's End and QVC shit. It's fucking amazing. Hey, Dee Dee, you didn't have to file a claim because he damaged a, a box or anything, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No, your box is always fine after he <laughs> left it? Hey, hey, Dee Dee, when you come up, man, I still have some old uniforms. And, uh, you know, well, you sound kind of cute, so, uh, you know, I come up there and, uh, you know, give you a special delivery. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Tom, do these ladies dress sexy at the door and all that? You know, some of them, some of them, you know, early morning, you know, you get in there like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. They just get the kids off the school. You know, they're wearing, they're wearing sweats or whatever. There was this one girl, and I mean, I didn't get the bang, but I wanted a bang. She would come out. I always get her when she just get home from the gym or going to the gym. Always wearing the tight fucking spandex and the tits hanging out. Oh God, it was unbelievable. All right, Pat O'Brien, calm down. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> Listen, oh, big t nice tits hanging out. I want to yeah, fuck well, the you. The difference between me and Pat O'Brien is that I was actually banging these chicks. <laughs> All right, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. I used to. No, bro. Hey, have a good vacation. Uh, we appreciate. It. Thanks. I used to bang. I used to work for D'Angelo's. You have a Boston. You remember D'Angelo Subs, right? In Boston. Yeah, yeah. I used to deliver, and I used to have chicks actually would order the same thing every Wednesday or like on a Tuesday, and I'd show up, and they just want to fuck me and suck. Like me. a porno movie. Yeah, you just show up, and I had that green D'Angelo thing on, and well, that's the sexy. hat and the windbreaker. Little poncho. <laughs> Did you have uh, something on your antenna of your car to say ah, that you were a delivery yeah, it guy? It was actually one on the window. The on one the that window? went on the window, it said D'Angelo's. That just spells winner. I used you're to actually... driving your car <laughs> and it's got any kind of food delivery little flyer in the window or something. I used to take it and throw it off before I'd run. He'd run out the yeah. manager. You have to put this on your window. And I'd throw it off the window. Have some pride. Ugh. That Captain Hook uniform is part of our image. <laughs> Those boys down at IBM expect you to be... <laughs> Hey, let's say hi to Danny. What's up, Danny? Hey, boys, I just got this picture of Dee Dee sitting home at night watching QVC yelling at the operator, Send it, Rush! Send it, Rush! Delivery! <laughs> Rush delivery. <laughs> uh, Watch it out, boys. Good to have you back. Uh, thanks, Danny. Dee Dee did it like the hard it. way. She just had to send empty packages to herself, and she'd be, you know, she could have did it easy. That's true. <laughs> Mail empty boxes to herself? Exactly. Yeah, that, I, it's cheaper than an escort, I guess. You know, or she could have just said, hey, why don't you come by on your lunch break and I'll fuck you every afternoon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that That's a little it. cheaper. I catch the other, the other end of the spectrum because, uh, you know, I work for DHL, as you know. So, you know, oh, on, right. on my route, uh, there's the FedEx guy who's buff and then there's the post office guy who's who's buff down in my area. So both these guys make me look bad. So the all the women, they go to all the same people I go to. So when... I get to these women. They look at me. They're like, "Oh, you twerk! Get the fuck out of here!" You should uh, mix in front of them. Oh yeah. Gotta like turn them on. Oh yeah, that'll Pull really get them wet. Up, open up the back, start mixing. <laughs> yeah. With every hot chick story though, from deliverance stuff, there's, the, the, there's some you have to walk in on old ladies sometimes well, yeah. and they're shitting on the toilet. <laughs> Honestly, they just keep the door open. You're like, you know, I used to deliver flowers and st they come in and they just be sitting there with their, <laughs> oh, their. I mean, naked, on the toilet, just trying to take a shit. Oh, wow. And they'd be like, just put it over there. Could you help? Ugh. Bob, could you <laughs> hand me the toilet paper? Where? Where? It's over there. Under the sink. It's not underneath my tit. I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need some preparation H for my hemorrhoid. Bob, could you apply it Bob. and leave the package over there? Bobby. Where? Over there. Bobby, my pussy's hanging on the floor. I don't know how it got there. Could you please call my son? I was doing a courtesy flush, and I accidentally flushed my uterus down the bowl. It was hanging out. I have 18 children. Could you please grab the cord and throw it over my shoulder? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm like, the UPS guy's coming. i got to get ready, Bob. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know, Duke from Jersey makes a good point. He wants to know if Dee was getting her d domination gear delivered. Oh, there you go. Some of those riding crops. So Ball a... gags. <laughs> All right. Well, Dee, uh, this wasn't the reason we got you on the phone today, though. This was just a nice, <laughs> little, enough. This was a nice little bonus story. Yeah, this will be, yeah. You, you gave us um, an air check. Oh, God. It's called Two Chicks and a Dick. You're, oh. you're, you're trying to work a new radio show, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, on your demo tape, you talk about an old boyfriend. Yeah. 
that went gay after he was with you. <laughs> wow. Um, well, he went gay. Well, he told me a few years later after we we weren't together anymore. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. So he was gay and just kind of trying to figure out if he could cure himself or something. I guess so. I don't know. He yeah. realized he was gay, wanted to swing the bat the other way. Huh. But uh, he was gay already when he was with you. I don't. I'm thinking like if. Usually, I think they usually are, and they just don't know it yet. The last ditch effort. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll give it a try. <laughs> I don't know. Take it I was stab at this. about that, though. It made me so sad. Did for you him. think you turned him gay or something? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's conceited, but some, I'm like, I wonder if I did something. But I'm sure, no, he was born that way. Absolutely. I, I blame all women. <laughs> fucking it's your fault. You stink wrinkled, turn the guy over to a fucking, <laughs> a, a, a nice penis. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Let's, let's <laughs> when you're so bad that a man has to look at a hairy man's ass and go, I'd rather have that. Mm. That's oh, sad. Jesus. That is really Why does it have sad. to be hairy? <laughs> it's a man's ass. Why can't we make it nice? Nice? How do you make it nice? The second they hit 13, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Not all smooth anymore. Uh, you're absolutely right, Anthony. <laughs> let's go to Norm in uh, Jersey. Norm? Yo, what's up, boys? Hey. I do uh, repairs in uh, people's homes. I had some little old lady sitting there flirting with me, and I wasn't picking up on it. I was like 19 at the time. She tells me she's going to uh, the uh, proverbial slip into something more comfortable. Ugh. She came back with one of those see-through things with the feathers on the edges. Dude, she looked just like Mrs. Howell <laughs> from Gilligan's <laughs> Island. I sat there like a stuttering idiot going, oh, but, uh, but uh, uh, well, <laughs> oh. I excused myself politely. I had no idea what to do. She slipped in something more comfortable, a brand-new colostomy bag on her head. Oh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. All I thought of was lovey. It's horrible. Lovey. Punching out, boys. Good job, Noah. Did he fuck her? Yeah, who will never know. Jesus. Lay some pipe. Let's uh, say hi to Jesse in Mississippi. Jesse? Sounds like all these UPS drivers must have been tying bandanas on their antennas. <laughs> yeah. I invented a had sex I'm punching rock. out. <laughs> Very good. Good, good call back there. Bandanas. Pale Rider from WackBag.com. What's up? What's up, boys? Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I work EMS in Queens. Uh, an old partner of mine a couple years ago used to bang this flight attendant chick from the airport. What she used to do is she would call a job into 911. We'd pick it up. He'd go over there, bang her for like 45 minutes. And then come back downstairs and just say that she didn't want to go to the hospital anymore. She used to do this like once a week. Oh, man. She used to do it once a week? Once a week. Nice. There you go, 40 seven. minutes, I told you. 911, and uh, you get a flight attendant. So, uh, uh, I mean, that, uh, and, and, I mean yeah, yeah. that's one of a many things bunch. he did. But yeah. That wasn't the only one he was banging. All right, thanks, Phil. He used to get, right. get blowjobs and back in the ambulance all the time. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you for shit, guys. Well, we really weren't talking to you that time. Flight so. attendants are like guys. That because they're on the, they do so much flying and they're so independent. A lot of traveling and they're, they're in hotels. Long, right, no uh, no relationship yeah. would last through a girl traveling like that. So yeah, they're all free. The pilots, I hear they bang a lot of the pilots. They bang everybody, dude. I, I, me and my friend hooked up. They with bang one. everyone except the male flight attendants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we bang each other. <laughs> I've never, I've yet to see a straight one. We are, <laughs> like I'm sauntering out, drink. I like something to drown. Yeah. Do you like my Love plugs? Them. Jesus. Take my hair <laughs> <Yeah>. plugs. <laughs> Jack off. They are never heterosexual. No, they're no. Well, you can't be to hold up those bags the way they do. The way they they drop it down, <laughs> and they put it over there. Huh? We actually had this flight attendant do all that safety procedure shit, totally nude in the room. We just sat there with our cocks, <laughs> just Come laughing. On, really? I swear to God, she was doing everything. We had to do everything totally nude. She, was, she goes, there's exits in the rear. She was doing everything. She yeah. dropped the thing down, put it over her head. Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, where was this? I can't tell you. In that. a plane? No, this is in a hotel. We met this girl you on a, a gig, and then we're in a hotel. Why are all your sex stories start with we? Yeah, it's no, never I, me. <laughs> Anyone else notice that today? I really Perfect. am a fucking dirt ball. We. It's always uh, we. I've done a lot of... i got a lot of creepy friends. Listen we, to the replay today, guys. Like gang rape isn't we. a gang rape without yeah. a gang. Gang. Hey. You realize your friends are saying that you're the creepy friend? Huh? No. But <laughs> listen to me. I, I'm good friends with Norton. I'm not the creepy friend. That's Man. one thing about Norton. You can always say... Go to him and say, dude, I feel like shit. I just did this. He'd be like, yeah, that used to turn me on. Relax. <laughs> I get shit on by she-males. Chill out. You have no problems. That's why I love Norton. Yeah. Boy, I'm never that far. All right, yep. start the story that starts with we. <clears throat> we just met this girl, mm -hmm. flight attendant. Well, you know what it is? I, I, it's easier for me. 
Yeah, you know, when you're hanging out. Other people involved? Well, yeah, it's just like, you know what? But it, it sucks because this guy was black, a friend of mine. And he, yeah. his, literally, I'm in the tub. She's in the tub. It's a jacuzzi tub. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he walks in and we both looked at him like, we both went, holy shit. And she's never been with a black guy before. Uh oh. It was, I'm, I, it was fucking fuck. I was just looking at it like, dude, I, I'm not gay, but I dude. gotta stare at your hog for at least five minutes because I've <laughs> never seen something that big in my life. Jesus. And he knew it too. He was like, I'm coming in, baby. Bobby, you're getting uh -oh. out. I didn't do anything with her. So he was gonna ruin her before you even had a shot. He latched onto her like a silverback gorilla. <laughs> oh, God. And I looked at her face, and she's never been with a black guy before. She just went, oh. And I, I almost felt bad. I was looking at her like, wow. are you okay? I became like a caretaker. Yeah. I was like, are you, uh, uh, are you, is right. everything, Sharad, can you hold one, you know, oops, I just mentioned his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, what you, you know Sharad. Of course. Oh, he doesn't care. He's a, he's got a monster. A when monster. Said, when all was said and done, all she could say was, uh, 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 <laughs> well, he, she looked at me. She <laughs> Petting her head and feeding her ice chips. <laughs> I said. Oh, God. Oh, it only took you three hours. Good job. Oh, Sorry. God. <laughs> wow. Ice chips. That's funny. <laughs> I swear to God, she looked at me like the whole day went by, and then she looked at me, and she was like, come on. Because I didn't do anything with her. Yeah. I mean, I tried to, but, every, you know, ugh. I literally just latched onto her. She was on her belly and just... <laughs> wow. And she, I just look up and she would try to grab my... Th and, ah, and she just turned to the side. I was like... Oh, she was impaled. I was, I was like... I, I was just nervous. And then, later that afternoon, after everything, she's like, come on. You know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm looking around for him. Yeah, of course. I felt like the, like the old lion... And he was like the new young buck. <laughs> you know you're screwed and if I was he trying, walks by yeah, while you're right. pumping. I was trying to get a piece of meat, and if he walked by, he was going <laughs> to... I, I went over, and I started to, and then I looked behind me, and he's literally looking at me like a serial killer uh -oh. with this, like... Behind you? Behind me uh -oh. across the room. <laughs> I know, right? Look out. He, he literally had this mule just hanging down with a condom on it. And the thing was only half on his hog. <laughs> this thing was a magnum, half on it. And I'm looking, I turn around, I look at him, and I just kind of backed away from the pussy slowly. Oh. I just kind of was like, here you go. And I just gave it over to him. It was, it was just awful. It yeah. was awful. But, you know, she was a fun broad. And she we, was a flight attendant. We sent it to the bachelor party next door. We sent her over there just in a towel. Like, we, were, you know, yeah, hey, enjoy her for a half hour. Oh, it was awful. What a gal. Oh, uh, yeah, she yeah. was, I'm telling you, flight attendant. What a trooper. Flight attendants, they're, they're cool because they're like guys. Yeah. Then You know, she wasn't like a... She, I mean, the, the, the vagina was a little crazy, though, I'll tell you that. A little crazy? Yeah, let's put it this way. Norton would have loved it. Oh, it was really hanging? It was a hanging. I almost threw up. It. Really? That I, bad? I really... I mean, yeah. It, it, it was very... Uh, it, when you went in... Yeah. And stuff came out. Do you understand wow. what I'm saying? Like, other stuff came out that wasn't out originally. Right. Like, there was... We tucked away it. stuff. It. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. It's right. like an M eighty put into like a, a big <laughs> bucket of hubba bubba. <laughs> Something like that. Just floating cigar. Like a mortar round. Just <laughs> like one of those underground atomic tests. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of yeah. <laughs> puffs it up a little bit. A quick yeah. burst of energy just <laughs> 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 All right, let's say goodbye yeah. to Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Oh yes. Dee Dee's still on the phone. Enjoying that, huh? Are you enjoying the stories? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're getting all turned Making on, aren't hot, you, Dee Dee? Come on, no, tell us. No, it's not getting me hot. No? Everybody has a side to them. I'm telling you, if they say they don't, they're lying. We never mm -hmm. we never said you weren't right. I, I, all yeah. right, Dee Dee, we're going to let you go. we got to go on break and stuff, so we'll see you in a couple weeks, I guess. Yeah, have a fun trip. We will. Uh, you're a star on this show. Well, you guys rock. They love you on the message boards, so. All right, Dee Dee. Okay. Bye, Dee Dee. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. There she goes, Dee Dee. She, she has goes. a lot more stories. Wow. She really is something. Unbelievable.